In front of me is a General Mobile GM5 Plus, and I'll show you how to do a bypass of the Google verification. So, as you can see, uh, this one is locked, and we'll need to start off by connecting to the Wi Fi. So, let's do that. And I'm already connected, as you can probably see, and uh, it should go straight to the verification. So, yeah. But you should have a screen where it tells you to pick a network before you can proceed. So once you have connected to some kind of network, go all the way back to the first screen. And from here, <coughs> we'll tap on the vision settings. So here, then tap on talkback and enable it. Tap on OK. Tap back on. Tap back um, is a screen reader primarily for people with I'm going to lower the volume so I can actually talk. So from here, um, we'll draw an L on the screen like so and tap on talkback settings once to uh, select it and then double tap it to go there and from here we need to now disable talkback because uh, you can see we can't really scroll so hold volume up and down together and you'll get this message like so ignore it and once more hold volume up and down And as you can see, now the message came up that TalkBack is now off. So now we can actually scroll all the way down and do help and feedback. And from here, we're gonna tap on search. So here, and we're gonna search for Morse code. So uh, I already have it here in the popular, but if you don't see it, you can just type on type, type in and search for it and use more Morse code Android. So it's this one, tap on it. And you should see this video. So just tap on the video and you should see a little clock right here and tap on that clock. And it will take us to Chrome where you get to accept uh, conditions, tap on continue, next and no thank you. And now tap on the search bar and uh, navigate to hard reset that info. Okay, so once we're here, I'm gonna tap on the menu and tap on download. Now, from here, we're gonna search for Android 8. So, like so, and search. Go down to the CD download for FRP bypass. Now once more go down and tap again on download right here. Uh, tap on allow, okay, and open. And we'll need to enable unknown sources, so settings and uh, select this thing on. And I'll go back one time. And from here, now we get to install this. So tap on install. open once it's installed and tap on Google account manage APK install and choose for version 6.0. Now once more we need to go into settings and enable unknown sources so boom go back and install. Yeah once that's installed we can just click on done and now we're gonna tap on bypass FRP and browser sign in and then tap on the three little dots up here once more browser sign in 
OK. And now we get to put in the new Google account. So I'm gonna put mine in. And then tap on next. And now I'm gonna put in my password. So I'll take the phone for a second. And I tapped on sign in. And uh, you might get this message, couldn't sign in, but the device actually did sign in as we will see soon enough. So we can actually now hold the power button and tap on restart. Again, disregarding the message that it didn't sign in because it actually did. And now we can go to the setup of the device uh, just quickly because we're gonna actually do a hard reset right after this anyway to remove all the software and everything just to make it a clean clean Android. Let's tap on next. And as you can see, we're already past the verification. So yeah, not now, doesn't really matter, skip anyway. I agree. And as you can see, now we're in Android without the activation. And uh, the account that it's using is the one that we put in previously before we rebooted the device. So now that that, that is done, we're actually gonna turn off the phone or you can go through settings, whichever one you like. Um, maybe actually quicker through settings. So here, go all the, all the way down to system, then reset and do a factory data reset, reset phone, erase everything. And we're gonna wait for the factory data reset to go all the way through and I'll be back once we're back into the Android setup screen. And as you can see now the process is finished and uh, you can now set up the device fully the way we like it. And everything should work. Or, well not should, it will work. So, tap on next. I'm just skipping this through just to finish it. You can go through it a little bit deeper and customize the settings as you like. And as you can see, the process is fully finished. Everything that we have downloaded, it's, it's gone. It wasn't really needed. And uh, the device is fully clean, unlocked and ready to use. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.